The hardest part about having a mature face is that we overdo them really quickly. And I'm going to give you two different ways to retouch a mature face. Um, my go-to straight away is clone. What I love about clone is that if you drop down to 10% flow, as you can see, work between 10 and 20, you will remove without blitzing, without taking away everything. And that's really important. Now, if the client doesn't like something like they have jowls or they have a double chin or they have something like that that they really don't like, you do have to listen to them. But mostly they have sun damage and mostly they have wrinkles and everyone knows they have wrinkles. We're not removing the wrinkles. This is the important part. We're removing the shadows underneath them. Now, when it's sun damaged chest like this, I take the big freckles and I just slowly touch the big freckles, but I leave the overall sun damage because that is aging and very significant of pretty much anybody over 35 that grew up in sunshine. Um, I do lighten the neck, but still not smoothing out the neck too much because I don't want them to look overdone. Those little puppet lines under the mouth, get rid of them. Nobody wants them, nobody likes them, nobody cares. Now this is a beautiful little example of a little bit of saggy chin and I'm going to show you how to fix that because that's not a double chin, that's just a little bit of a saggy chin and it's very easy to fix. So I'm just going to go around, I want to leave some aging but I'm going to lasso where the chin dips down and I'm going to copy and paste, Command C, Command V, right click, warp and then I'm going to warp the little chin up, not looking at the top but just looking at the bottom and then I'm going to erase back that little layer until the top line and the bottom line join back down together just like that and then you're keeping the true line instead of creating a fake cloned line it's very fast it's very accurate and it looks real it's so easy okay turn it on and off it's a little doot 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 so easy and it looks really good. We'll layer, we'll flatten that layer. Don't you wish there was a shortcut for flatten layer? Come on, Photoshop. And then just touching this neck, let's finish this neck off. We want it to look beautiful, so we're just gonna touch up under there. Beautiful, perfect, and nice and smooth, but not too smooth, okay? Her neck and chest still look age appropriate. We've just cleaned it right up. Now, use your discretion on how much retouching your client wants. There are two clear bags under her eyes here. We are only going to lighten the bottom one. We are not to touch the top one. The top one is her natural age and her natural bottom lid. If we remove that, we will flatten down her eyes and it will look horrible. So keeping it nice and low, just lightening that bottom bag cleaning up this little rough bit here, nice and easy, 20% flow, 100% opacity. Keep her lines on her eyes. They are part of her age. This woman is 60. She knows she's got these lines. We just want to soften them beautifully without over softening. Okay, lip lines, get rid of those. And granted, she's a remarkable 60. She has a remarkable face for 60. Really, she does. All right, let's get rid of the frown. Nobody needs a frown. Nobody wants one. Nobody cares for one. It's an angry line. It doesn't belong on the face. Get rid of it. Even the older women don't want it, so it's easy to get rid of it. Just shh, get rid of it. All right, now we want to clean up the forehead without removing too much of her age. So we just want to lightly dust over it, but it's really important that we don't delete too much of it, okay? I will take this right back because sometimes your clients will just say get rid of it and sometimes they won't but I just want to make it clear. Let's get rid of this line. Now see I'm using a fan and the fan has blown the hair across her eye so I'm just going to use the healing tool and I'm just going to get my stray hair, just work my way down here. Alright and just clean up those little stray hairs around there. Done. and. And I only need to take it off the eye to there. I don't need to go any further. All right. Now, my healing tool is not allowing me to get too close around the iris. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do that. Perfect. Now, I'm going to go to my 
I'm still on here, just fix it. Oh no, it's there. This one, this one, this one. All right. Now, I'm just gonna fix this a little bit. I'm gonna go to my clone stamp because the healing tool is not letting me get this line around her eye and I need to put it back. So I'm gonna clone around there and bring it back down. There you go, perfect. Got to fix those eyeballs. You can't have any breaks in the eyeballs because that's where you look when you look at the photograph. All right, now let's tackle these lines up here. I'm going to do this with my clone because I can't, if I do this with the healing tool, I'll just get rid of them and I don't want to. I just want to soften, 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 20%. That's it, 100% opacity. This big one, we can get rid of that a little bit more. But we still want to see it. It still has to exist. We want her to be age appropriate and not feel like her whole face has been flattened down. And it's still beautiful. Let's clean up our edges while we're there. Maybe a bit more, do you think? Yeah, let's try that. Still there though, you can still see the movement. Wonderful. Okay, so now I'm just going to go around, look at the bits that need doing. Here I'm on my, my burn tool, and what I'm doing is filling in her top line where I removed the stray hairs. I'm burning in at 20%, and now I'm just going to clone and fix this little shadow here. I mean, I'm being finicky now, I'm just doing small stuff, but. All right, she looks great. All right. Use my healing tool in here. Yep. Now I clean up this background and then decide where I'm gonna crop. <laughs> 